In this fun animation video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own world, whether it's for like a cartoon type style of content or for explainer videos. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So this is rather a very interesting and awesome topic, but I'm gonna keep this under 10 minutes. So we're gonna start off by bringing in vector objects, which are the cartoon objects by itself. We're gonna bring them into After Effects and we're gonna just talk about how to animate them and put together an overall scene. So let's go ahead and jump into our video and let's get started. All right, so before we jump over to After Effects, we need to talk about Adobe Illustrator, and here is our city. And I downloaded this vector for free. I will link this in the description. There's literally thousands of you know city vectors on this website that you can download for absolutely free, and you'll be able to bring them into Adobe Illustrator. So once you have this file downloaded, you need to bring it into Adobe Illustrator. Illustrator is mostly mandatory for doing this type of animation. So when we have a file in here, the first thing we need to do is go to Layers. First thing we do is go here to layers and see like what's separated from each other and we can open up the layers here and be like okay we can keep going in here and just kind of take a look where everything is at what we need to do here is come here to the bottom and create a new layer and this will be layer three and we need to start putting set these objects into their own layers because everything's grouped together at the moment so one thing we can see that we have all these clouds here at the top that i'm turning on and off so we can grab all these layers here and bring it into our layer three and we'll turn off our clouds and continue to make sure they're all in that layer. Boom. So there's all of our clouds and let's go ahead and rename this layer to clouds. So boom, clouds are separated in their own layer. We can go ahead and create another layer and find another thing that we can separate. So here's the street. So perhaps we can find this car right here, this truck, and we can put this in its own layer and we'll rename this layer to truck. Boom. Create another layer. We can put this car in there. We need this to car. And the reason why we're doing this is because we need to have this completely organized for After Effects. If we don't do this, that means everything's going to essentially be one layer and we don't want that. We won't be able to individually animate this city. So now we have to come here and look at the buildings and start isolating them. And we stretch out the layers, you know, long enough we'll be able to see what is selected so we can see the bush buildings are in here. So we know this is a building and put that up into its own layer at the top, create another one, call it B2. And we'll just go from here. We'll want to put each building into its own layer as well. So I have pretty much all of our objects layered into their own layers here at the top. So I have all the trees. I have pretty much all the front buildings here. I didn't put the back buildings. Um, and I have our cars. And one thing I want to take a look at here, if I disable this car, you can see that this shadow actually is not in that layer. And we need that shadow to be there or that shadow is not going to get animated. So these are things that you have to look at before you bring them over to After Effects. One thing we do is control click this shadow here so it's selected by itself and we can come here to our layers and we can see which layer group this is in so this is in this group here because it's selected and here it is we want to make sure we bring this path to our car layer and make sure it's organized underneath our car then we do the same thing for our truck here's what our animated layers will look like and this will just be our background plate and we might want to take a look at this and kind of just reposition some of these buildings here just to be in spot so we're not like hey what there perfect and before we send this over to after effects we want to be able to set this up as like a video aspect ratio like 16 by 9 with you know 19 20 by 1080 right so what we can do is come here and grab the crop tool here on the left and we can grab our sides hold down alt on keyboard and we can just you know bring out the width to be 1920 and then bring down the height to be 1080 then we can select all of our layers and just scale these up by holding down shift and alt on our keyboard and we'll bring this over to here all right cool i don't want to overdo it because if we bring this all the way up then we're only going to see a small portion of our scene in that box so then what we need to do here is take our background for example and just drag this out to be the length take any of these elements and just stretch them out So this scene is mostly stretched out to take up, you know, the aspect ratio of the scene. Of course, we could duplicate these buildings, but, you know, we'll do a bit of zooming in and out of our After Effects composition. But it's important that, you know, we don't have any extra space around the composition. So when you're done, go up to File, Save. All right, here we are inside of After Effects, and we'll want to import our Illustrator file that we just saved. And it'll ask you, how do you want to import this? Set it as Composition, and click OK. And then here it is, we can double click our composition 
And if we need to change the aspect ratio, what we do is go to composition, go to composition settings, and it'll set us back down. All right, awesome. All right, so our scene looks set up and now we can start animating. So since we have all these layers isolated, we can do some really cool animation. And then we can grab our tree layers and hit P on keyboard for position. Move forward to like a second, add a keyframe for position, go to the beginning and bring these down. This way, this will animate upward. Then what we can do is select our trees layer, go up to layer pre-compose, and we can call it trees, move all attributes into new comp, click OK. Then we can grab the rectangle tool here at the top and just kind of create a mask, you know, upward uh, underneath our grass right here. You know, starting at the bottom of grass going up. This way, boom, these will kind of just grow in there. Nice. So now we can do the same thing with all of these buildings. So we'll select all of our buildings, hit P and keyboard for position, add a keyframe for them, go back in time, and we just bring them all below. You know, to right there. That's fine. Then we can pre-compose all of these buildings and we can just call it buildings. Click OK. Then we'll grab the rectangle tool and we'll just create this mask just like before. Boom. These will all come up into our scene. And what's cool about this, we can come into our buildings layer and we'll just uh, kind of all set these layers in time by a little bit so they're all like a little bit random. They don't come in at the same time. And let's go back into this composition and hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and select all the keyframes and make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. In fact, I'll make this animation just a little bit quicker. And for animation, here it comes. Beautiful. And let's come into our cloud layer. And I don't and I want to animate these individually, but we put them all into one layer. And I did that purposely. So if you want to be able to animate these clouds, we really can't, right? If you want to animate them individually, you can't do that because it's all in the same layer. You see what happens? So what we can do is right-click our cloud layer and go to create and click on create shapes from vector layer now we open this vector layer all these clouds should be in their own layers within the shape layer and you see boom i'm turning them on and off here so now we can animate these separately and we didn't have to do so much layering inside of illustrator so this helps us save some time so we can go into our shape layer here the clouds go in the contents go into group one and go to transform group one add a keyframe for position and we'll want to add a keyframe for all of these, right? So go into each group individually and just quickly add those position keyframes. All right, and once you have all those keyframes added, just hit U on your keyboard to bring up these keyframes and we can move forward to the end of our composition. And now we can start just animating these clouds. We'll keep these two together. So now we have all of our clouds animated and that's cool. So now we got to animate our cars and it's pretty much the same thing. So we can grab our car layer Hit P on keyboard for position, add a keyframe for it, move it forward in time, and we can just bring the exposition over like this. And we can do the same thing for our truck layer, and we'll just move this one backwards. And one thing we need to talk about is layering again. We can see that our car is being kind of cut off by this tree, so just bring that car layer above the buildings. And let's make sure we turn on motion blur here on the left side, make sure it's turned on at the top. And here's currently what we have with our animation. And as you see, it's, you know, once you have the setup ready to go in Illustrator, it's pretty easy to animate inside of After Effects and start creating some life. Now, the scene is definitely kind of empty. So we could have just added more buildings, you know, and it could populate a little bit more, but I want to talk about just adding a little bit overall animation. So what we can do is go up to layer new null object and we can parent everything to this null object. Cool. So one thing we can do is hit S on keyboard for scale and we can one scale in by a little bit and we can add a keyframe for scale and move forward to like say five seconds and we can just scale forward here. All right, and one thing you'll notice once we start scaling in like a lot, you can start seeing pixelization. So one thing we need to do is right here, this is icon in the middle, uh, it's called continuously rasterize. We gotta turn this on for all of our vector layers. Guess what? No more pixelization. I hope you saw that on YouTube, but you'll definitely see that when you are in After Effects. We can literally zoom in and it's not going to get pixelated. So that is the beauty of vector objects. Then what we can do is hit P on keyboard for position and we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline, add a keyframe for it and come here to the end and we can just maybe have this scale downward. And now overall we have our nice city animation. Uh, that you can overlay with you know your own cartoon narration or if you're doing an explainer video that requires this sort of animation then you're able to do that so depending on what you need and specifically the license you need if you're doing like commercial projects 
uh, that website that we talked about, freepix.com, probably won't work for a client project. However, one resource that I use on all my projects is called Envato Elements, which is a subscription-based website that has over a million templates, ranging from stock footage, ranging from After Effects and Premiere templates, royalty-free music for your projects, and specifically for this, they have tons of vector graphics that you can easily bring into your project. So if we're looking for city, we have many templates to choose from. And one template I want to take a specific look at is called Pixity Land, which allows you to easily use pre-built animated scenes, whether it's a cityscape or a you know shop or you know an office, and allows you to populate them with actual animated characters that you're able to put together yourself very easily. So if you're working on this cartoon styled animation, whether it's for the explainer videos or for your own narrative work, you can easily be able to take this project file and you can choose from a variety of different animated scenes and be able to build out your character from a selection of accessories and animations. So if you want to check out Envato Elements and see all 1 million plus templates that are being added to every single day, you can check our links in the video description. So this was an easy way to create a cartoon world inside of After Effects. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creative.